What's up, guys? Nobody special here, and we are going to forgo some of the formalities because I want to get this video up pronto. Um, there is something potentially very big going on in the Gulf of Oman slash the Strait of Hormuz right now. Um, I, information right now is sketchy at best. There's a lot of rumor mills that are running, uh, so I, I don't want to add to it. I want to be careful what I say, but I also want to get this information out as this could be very big. Um, reports are that at least two ships in the Gulf of Oman have lost control or been hijacked. I read reports that they've been hijacked by Iranian-linked forces. I mean, uh, Iran likes to operate through proxy groups and smaller factions, so that's a possibility. Um, but what we have with two ships off the coast of the UAE, the vessels are the Golden Brilliant, which is an oil tanker, and the asphalt carrier, the Kamdenhu, um, reported that their AIS system, automatic identification systems, were, were changed to not under command. Um, I've done some of my own digging around. This is using a, an app called marinetraffic.com, and I've found several other ships in the area have recently changed to not under command which means they have somehow lost control, whether that's due to engine failure, weather, or other. Um, the other vessels, I've got the Golden Remy, the Queen Helena, and the Asphalt Princess was another. Um, the Asphalt Princess was the first boat that I had heard had been hijacked. Now, when you look at that boat on marine traffic, it shows as underway using engine, not as not under command. But I had read several reports on Twitter. Again, Twitter is unreliable at best about hijacked. Let's just search hijacked ship. Um, warning of potential hijack off the UAE, hijack of ship off the UAE coast. UK Today revealed a non-robbery episode on an anonymous boat prior to overhauling its depiction. I don't know what that means. Um, I apologize. This is unscripted. I'm just reading this off the cuff to you guys. Uh, four vessels lose control. Sources directly involved the incident that armed forces have boarded the vessel, which last signaled its position around 5 p.m. London time, and are directing it towards Iran. Now, which boat is this? I'm going to try this one. I don't know. It's off of Lloyd's list. Okay, that's the Asphalt Princess. Now, I want to point out another one that I have not seen in the press. However, the Queen Helena is an oil tanker. I'm going to show that on the map. Showing here as not under command, which, you know, we've established what that means. Now, here's the interesting thing about the Queen Helena is her past track. She's gone non, not under command, and she seems like she is heading towards the narrow point of the strait or towards Iran. And, uh, you know, with a couple of tankers full of who knows what sludge and chemicals or oil or asphalt, you know, it doesn't take a lot of imagination to imagine what a couple of bad actors could do they were to sail those into a crowded shipping lane and do whatever to them, either light them on fire, sink them, or, or just sail them straight to Iran and hold them hostage, just, just to cause problems. Um, now, I've also seen, again, this is unconfirmed, but reports about missile fire being exchanged. Typo there. Excuse me. Where is it? Again, I don't know the source here. I don't know this guy, but 
an exchange of missile fire between Iranian, Israeli, British, and American warships off the coast of the UAE has occurred. The British Ministry of Defense asks all international ships not to approach. Now, that's a lot of involved parties. Right? Iranian, Israeli, British, and American. Three different, or four different navies which Israeli, British, and American are obviously allies. So, you know, we've, if you've been following military developments, Iran has been drilling these swarm attack methods using smaller, faster ships. And if they are hijacking multiple bol- boats at the same time, and then you've got, again, unconfirmed reports of three different navies trading missile fire, that could be what this is, is some kind of an ambush of, multiple smaller vessels aimed at disrupting navigation. And the reason I say disrupting navigation is look at the traffic that flows through the Strait of Hormuz. Each one of these arrows and dots is a tanker or a carrier or a container ship. And one quarter of the world's oil, I believe, flows right through this narrow strait between Iran and Oman and the UAE. So, um, Prayers and happy thoughts, good thoughts to uh, all the guys and gals serving in the Navy that are in that area. Be safe. Uh, Hope for the best. Hopefully this is just posturing and there's no loss of life involved. Um, Looking here, it looks like at least so far oil prices really haven't reacted at all. If there was a shooting war developing In the Strait of Hormuz, you would see it here in this chart before you heard anything about it in the news. So maybe this is just a small story and maybe it's just rumors. Hopefully that's the case. If it is rumors, I apologize for my part in spreading it. But I did just, you know, this seemed like important information and I wanted to get it out there. All right, everybody, think happy thoughts. And uh, that's all I got for today. Live small and dream big, everyone.